<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Yauk. Let's just pop in it. Pop. Go. Pop. There we go. Well, it's a brief intro, but let's be. Though this is a game where there's something called the Yauk hitting. You have to get your traits and apples attributes up to see if you'll survive. Oh, I'm a loner and I'm playing on my own, so I'll play with these two. Let's go. Oh no, the Alg is coming. It's gonna... Oh, here we go. The Alg will be here in six weeks. No one expects it. Not one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week. Unaware. All right. Playing as the blue person first. What should we do first? I want the blue person to be like a nice person or a bad. Let's make him a horrible person. Let's go to the forest and hunt some animals. You spend a week hunting defenseless critters. You horrible being. You gain two of the nests and sell the pelts for one wealth. Alright. One day during your forest excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. At first you jump backwards into in shock, but then you start to hear them conversing with one another. They call you over. Excuse me, miss. One of them says in a high-pitched voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out of something? You see, we're trying to elect our new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. We're trying to decide between Sipa, the Vengeful, and Blighttooth. The wise, says the rat. Sipa steps out. If you vote for me, the rat will have a powerful leader who isn't afraid to take our fight to the enemy. Proclaims Sipa. Blight to steps up. If you vote for me, goodness, I will lead these rats to the age of an of enlightenment, says Blight to. Which rat do you choose? Well, Sipa would like make sure they're all safe and all that, but Blight to would make them very something something. Uh, what was it? I don't know. Uh, we are playing as a horrible person, so they would be very fighting. Oh, what, what, where's the button? There we go. Right. Half of the rats roar with t tiny applause. Blake Tooth bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Seedpaw climbs up, into, up to your shoulder and whispers fighting tips into your ear as thanks. Gain one for, one for Ness and one for Zeke. Alright, this guy looks like he's, he would be a drunk. Let's go to the tavern. Uh, drink. You spend the entire week getting wasted. Gain two charm, one for Zeke. One day, um... Impromotu drinking contest is held. Uh, let's end her. You're doing, you're doing paint after paint as if your life depend on it. You end up blacking out. When you come to, you find yourself in your room. You don't recognise it. You do, and then, and only in your underwear. Your clothes are nowhere to be found. And you seem to be the only one home. What happened? <laughs> Alright. They say the last time it came, the young devout houses oh stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Alright, let's go to the arena this time. Uh, compete in the fight. You spend the week fighting brutes in an arena. 
in two of Zeke and one of Finesse. One night on your way home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. Uh, let's pick it up. As you pick it up, you hear a voice from behind you and whisper, You are not worthy. The dagger begins to dissolve into black smoke. Within seconds, the blade is gone. Right then. Uh, he looks like a fancy guy. Let's attend a ball. There we go. Oh, look at fancy he is. You spend a week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day the king approaches you. Excuse me, but looks, but you look like someone who I can confide in. He says. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly active in the bedroom. He blushes a little. Do you have any advice on how I could romance queen, so to speak? <laughs> oh, it's obvious what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for this. Nah. You spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king. <laughs> By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. He thanks you and hands you a large stack of coins as a reward. Gain three wealth. Oh. It was on us in the heartbeat of so the stories go. The earth shook. The air Alright, where should she go? Where we should we go? Let's go to the slums. Fake crime, fake crime. She's uh, you spend a week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You get one mind and one physique and one finesse. Oh, that's a creepy person. One night you hear a woman whisper at at you from nearby. Hey you, she calls out, looking to make a bit of coin. She looks like a vampire. I, uh, I'm always up for a bit of coin, more coin. No, no, she looks creepy. Despite your intentions to say no, you'll find yourself, you find yourself giving in to her well completely. Vampire, she's definitely a vampire. She signals for you to go into the alleyway with her. No, don't do it! Come closer, she says. Nobody else can hear, can hear what I'm about to tell you. You lean in close, eager to learn how you'll be earning this coin. She presses herself up right against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Oh, is she not a vampire? Suddenly she bites you! Oh my god! You bites your neck viciously. I knew it! But blood pours from the wound. She's cl and she clings to you tightly, lapping it up. Oh, vampire, vampire. You black out. When you come to see, you come to, she see, you see her standing over you. Thanks! <laughs> she says, tossing you a couple of coins. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. She then melts into the shadows. That's creepy. You feel your neck. You, when you feel your neck, you notice your wound has healed completely. Your blood feels ice cold. Right then. You feel, no, not my physique. Alright, where should we go next? Maybe the arena. No, I don't want to go to the arena. Let's go to the hospital. Ooh, I won't go back to the tavern. Let's bartend. Then we seven drinks at the tavern. And one wealth. And then tips, and tips and gain two charm. The very first day of the week when you walk through the tavern doors, everyone cheers. Apparently during your last drunken outing, you were, uh, 
you're an animal, you're a party animal, well you're blacked out. <laughs> Legend spreads of your party and hard spirit, gain two charm, and then the world was howling. <clears throat> and then the world was howling, a howling fury, chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Oh god, alright. Let's head back to the arena. Compete. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. In two physique and one finesse. Over the course of the week, you're, you've noticed your skin becomes paler and your teeth sharpen. You notice that whenever you talk, everyone nearby hangs on your every word. Oh god, I'm a vampire. Gain three charm. No! You also feel more frail and gaunt than you used to. I almost all my physique. One day you notice the woman tilting her, oh god, brushing her hair. Oh no! Oh, you can even see a vein or two. Delicious. Oh god. Oh no! Before you know it, you're caught in blood with a mangled form in front of you. There's, oh god. There are dozens of people around you and they're, and they're all filled with delicious nectar. Whoa. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up next day in bed sheet, soaked with blood that was not your own. You look to the mirror and notice your skin has regained its colour and that your teeth have dulled. Oh, what? Look what's happened to the arena. Oh, it's all broken. Oh god, I just had a look at the... Oh, the quality is really bad. <laughs> Again. Alright. Uh, I kinda wanna go... Let's go to the hospital. Tend to patients, because I've got nice charm. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. Gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. Ah, oh, another patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. Doctors tried convincing him to stop, but to no avail. I'm going to sing with him. You start trying to sing along with his voice. The two of you start singing wonderful melodies together, making everybody happy. One of the doctors slips you a stack of coins to thank you. Yeah. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong? Or have we forgotten? What's all the mist? Alright, let's see what our vampire lady's gonna do. Let, let's make her meditate, see if we need to get that vampire out of her. You spend a week in deep meditation. Gain one magic and two mind. One day a toothless old woman approaches you. Ah, we give her our teeth to get rid of her vampire stuff. I have a... Sp I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would you be interested in purchasing them? Alright then. Spend one wealth on the beans. Later you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. Is that? Alright. I kind of want to go back to the bar again. <laughs> Drink. You enter the... You spent an entire week getting wasted. Gain two charm and one physique. One day a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. She offers you to 
offers to read anybody's fortune for a small sum. Mm. I think she's a con. Nah. The rest of the day you watch Fortune Teller uh, from afar and she showers each of their cu customers with promises of wealth and love. You feel like skipping out was a good choice. Gain one mind. The huh. Yalk, it's here, almost here. Almost, almost. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, or should let's send the vampire lady to the forest. Hunt. You spend a week hunting defenseless critters. Gain two physique, finesse, and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you stumble upon a, a tall, nacy trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. You sit and eat your lunch in front of the hedge, wondering what exactly it's doing out in the woods. Maybe hedges grow in the woods. Suddenly an enormous hand erupts from the foliage. Whoa! Uh, we've got some... I think our... Let's dodge it. You took just out of its grasp. You run faster than you ever have in your life. Two physique, all right. Oh, I haven't lost anything that time. Uh, let's go to a ball like, again. I know I'm doing the same stuff over, but I want to try and get our stats up. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Two, you gain two charm and one finesse. One day, you overhear the jester tell, tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but you don't understand the joke at all. Ask for an explanation, or try to figure out the joke on your own. I don't want to down everyone down. Several hours later, you figure it out and have a small chuckle. It is had... No, and... Blah, 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 let's speak again. And a small chuckle is had. Alright. All that thing can give your mind a workout. <laughs> well, that's that's how you know, kids. If you try to figure out a joke, that'll give your mind a workout. So you'll get smart. Oh, this is a long one. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it's still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. The round as crushes us. Ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Oh, there we go. Treasure roll. Alright. Uh, we'll look at our stats. Her charm, charm's pretty high. Mm. Oh. Maybe I'll loot her. You break into abandoned buildings and hoard together everything for yourself. You gain three wealth. Gain another three wealth. This hurts the survival effort. Oh, I think this guy should be the leader. Oh, this one looks a bit brighter. Take upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You expertly de delegate and prioritize tasks. You give motivating speeches and act as an effective me meditator in disputes. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Alright. <clears throat> and so, we set about our tasks once more, living as la our lives. This time, in a way, we might never expect it, or even want it. 
But in the end, we were defeated. Those who of us left to struggle to put our homes right, but the effort was futile, doomed. The city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing, or perhaps the Yalg was only partly to blame. Oh. That sucks. You escape the, the ruined town with a giant bag of coins, jewels and other valuable trinkets. And you move to a new city, living a life of luxury and elegance. Fortunately, a new city you move to has their own horrible evil. The... The Bayeg. The bag sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. This time you, you, you hit a. This time when you go to rummaging through the debris for valuables, you encounter a group of people doing the same. You get into a knife fight with one of them, which results in you bleeding out a pile of rub, out on a pile of rubble. Oh God. With the town in ruin, you decide to flee, go through the, the woods to seek a new home. Oh God, this venture's cut short, however, as you are mauled to death by a mysterious beast. Well, that's a jolly thing, isn't it? I really wanted to leave on a happy note. That's rubbish. You know what, I'm going to do another episode on this. Right. So I'll see y'all use peepers in the next video. Bye.